Dad and the rest of the old line coming at you right after the bumper. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below unless you're a Jags fan. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Today we're breaking down some offensive linemen. Make sure you stay to the end of the video just to make sure you can check out where we are at with that jersey giveaway. All right, guys, so last year we kept nine overall offensive linemen on our 53-man roster. This year I predict that we're going to keep 10. We're going to start with Aaron Stinney. Tyler Mars, Taylor Luan, Roger Saffold, Ben Jones, Corey Levin, Kevin Pamphile, Nate Davis, then we have uh, Jack Conklin, and Dennis Kelly. This year, PFF has us rated as the fourth projected offensive lineman coming into this upcoming season, just behind the Cowboys, Eagles, and the Steelers. All right, guys, well, let's go ahead and get it kicked off with the right tackles. All right, guys, let's get it kicked off of Jack Conklin. All right, guys, so we already know we declined his fifth-year option, so he's going into a make-or-break this year, and it just comes down to his overall play. Could he be a Titan next year? Of course, but it comes down to how he recovers from that knee injury from last year and the year before that and takes it into this next upcoming season. Ranked as Plural Football Focus 45th overall tackle last year. As we know, he's still recovering from his knee injury last year, and training camp is up in the air at the moment, but hopefully we'll have him by week one. So he only performed in nine games last year, and he gave up five sacks, which is twice as many as he's given up as the last two years combined. So we're looking for improvement in there, and if not, he's going to be replaced by the next guy we're hopping into, Dennis Kelly. All right, guys, next we got Dennis Kelly. Started five games for us, went down with one sack, one overall penalty in those five games, and clearly outperformed Jack Conklin last year. He only started five games for us because he went down with an illness that is still undisclosed. He still doesn't know what it was, and that gives you a little hindrance as of this upcoming season because what if it comes back? We already know he went down with it and lost a lot of weight and hopefully he's put it back on he's listed at 320 and hopefully he's put it all back on and he's back to being healthy but what if it happens again but he clearly outperformed jack conklin last year and he has the ability to step in and fill in for him if need be in the five games that he started he finished as the third overall tackle in the afc south as pro football focus rated him which is absolutely amazing it tells you what he can do for us if he needs to and jack conklin isn't up and being back to that all pro that pro bowler status but next guys let's go ahead let's hop into our guard battle next we got kevin pamphile started two games for us last year only gave up one sack and is the projected starter at our guard position currently. He's had high praises from the coaches this offseason and last year when he did fill in and was very serviceable. He is a good mauler and he's going to help us in the run game on that right side of the ball, especially to start the season. He went down last year with an undisclosed injury, which eventually led to IR. He still hasn't put it out there what was injured, but he seems to be healthy now. As long as he stays healthy, I believe he's going to be our starter week one. Well, all right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's hop into the next one. We're going to go with the frog stance, Nate Davis. All right, guys, next we got our rookie, our third round draft pick out of Charlotte, Nate Davis. So in college, he played all positions along the offensive line, but he's going to be projected for that guard for us in the NFL. He is a very powerful run blocker with very quick feet and hopefully that translates into the passing game in the near future. The one knock out of him coming out of college was he dropped his butt very low in what they called a frog stance. So hopefully the coaches, they have addressed that and he is going to improve that and hopefully we won't see that. That's something to look for in those first couple preseason games because I'm sure he'll be out there just getting reps every now and then. The one knockout of him in college was his arms aren't at the ideal length, so it does allow defenders to potentially get to him first and eventually to make that first move. 
but he does recover very well if somebody does get him offset. So just looking at his film, when you look at the man, he is the same weight as Kevin, but a little bit shorter. So he is thick, and that's with two C's. So I project him to be a starter on the offensive line before the end of the year, having it be coming from injury or he just beats out Kevin Panfile for the guard spot. It could be by week four, week five, week six. I believe it's going to happen before the end of the year, though. All right, guys, next, let's go ahead. Let's hop into the centers. All right, guys, next we got Corey Levin. Started one game for us last year. We drafted him in the sixth round a couple years ago. I believe this is a make-or-break year for him this year. If he doesn't beat out Ben Jones for that center spot this year, he won't in the near future. And I don't believe, even if Ben Jones goes down, that we would want him to be there. He just hasn't shown a whole lot. I believe he's going to make the team, and he might be a good depth piece, but that's all I really see going forward. But I'm hoping the sky's the limit when they put on training camp pads and he can potentially beat him out in the season. Next, guys, we got Ben Jones. So we already know he's probably going to be projected to be the starter center this upcoming season. Ranked as Pro Football Focus's number 12th center last year, which is good, but we know we're trying to go from good to great. He is very intelligent, and being a center, that is a very good quality because they are diagnosing who needs to block who, and they're communicating with the guards and the tackles all through down the line. We do know he's a little crazy, and he is probably has the second most personality out of the offensive line, but behind Taylor Juan, of course. And he does crazy stuff, eats bugs and stuff like that. He did allow four sacks last year, which we would like to see that improve. And I kind of see that as the one of the more weaker spots on the line, the center and the right guard position. So hopefully the improvements of Levin potentially taking the spot, or Ben Jones just improves from last season into this season. But we'll see how it goes. But next, let's go ahead and let's hop into that left guard position. Next, we got Roger Saffold, PFS number nine rated guard last season. Is an absolute mauler in the run game and is definitely going to shore up that left side of the line this upcoming season. We know we acquired him from the Rams this last offseason and was probably one of the bigger gets as far as offseason free agency goes and was definitely the best guard on the market. Only allowed one sack last year, which is very good, and that is throughout the entire season. So we should definitely be able to shut down anybody coming off that left edge. Going into his 10th season in the league, so he does have a little bit of wear and tear, and hopefully we have him for the full season. If that's not the case, though, I believe we will have enough depth to still have a serviceable line going forward into the year. Last but not least, we have some call him the father of Nashville. We just call him Dad. Top-rated tackle in the AFC South of his last year. Only allowed two sacks the entire season. I highly recommend checking out his podcast, Bustin' with the Boys with Will Compton. He has a lot of the other players and coaches on. He's had Mike Brabel on. He's had Arthur Smith. He's had Kevin Byard. And it is a very good and funny podcast. But you also get a little bit of insight into the team as well. So the combination of Roger Saffold and Taylor Luan in this upcoming season is going to shore us up the best left side in all of football. And that's going to help us in the running game and the passing game, and it's going to relieve a lot of pressure off the offense. I do project that we're going to keep two other ones I haven't covered today. I believe we're going to keep Aaron Stinney and Tyler Mars. I hope they don't have to play this year, but we do have good depth pieces, and if they do have to come in, they will be okay, and there is a reason that they are on the roster. So last year we allowed 47 total sacks, which tied us for 22nd overall in offense. This upcoming season I project us to be around 32, which is going to be a highly more improvement. It's going to tie us around that 6 to 8 range as far as the offensive line goes. So we know the offensive line is going to be highly improved, and we do have a lot of upside to potentially be lower than that. But I believe Mariota does hold the ball a little bit of times, and that is just part of his game. And he does he has learned to throw the ball away a little bit more in these past couple seasons. But that is also part of the game where he does come up with those big plays. 
All right, guys, so an update on the subscriptions. We've broke 100. We're at 104 as of now, which is amazing. And thank you guys for all the support. So we are going to be giving away the jersey. I'm still waiting for it to arrive. It's projected to arrive for later today. I'm shooting this a little bit early. But if it does, I'm going to shoot another video tonight, and I'm going to draw the name of the winner, and they'll have a couple days to claim their prize. And if they don't, we're just going to draw it again until somebody does, and then we're going to send that out to them. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing another contest. And... As you guys know, I probably can't keep up with all the jerseys given away, so we're going to do a Patreon contest. So the link's going to be down in the description below. All this is going to be is the first 25 Patreons that I have. Doesn't matter how much it is or how little it is. It's going to get you put in the uh, drawing. I'm going to draw just one name once we get to the 25. And the winner of that is going to get a free jersey as well. So you're going from a 1 in 100 shot on this first jersey to 1 in 25. So your odds are going to be greatly advanced. All right, guys. If you made it this far, let me know down in the comments below who you think our starter guard is going to be. How you think the tackle position is going to play out. If we'll have the best O-line this upcoming season or whatever it might be. And we'll see you guys later tonight for that jersey giveaway.